Welcome back, people. It is time that we dig into a new chapter of Kai Gray, Raise Your Vibration. Today, I'm not going to read everything up, but we are going to touch upon this because it's very important, I feel. And it also made me think in a new way because this being about forgiveness, I feel like we need to learn, or we are learning, to see it from another perspective. Because forgiveness does have a stench to it, right? The word. Like, it's frightening, it's annoying, it's confusing. So, it made me dig a little bit deeper when it comes to forgiveness. What is forgiveness? And I also think that it's important to see forgiveness in another way because it's something that comes up again and again and again in our life it's a part of life and maybe it is actually for us to see forgiveness as another thing then forgiveness because i feel it's actually going to lighten us up make it easier for us to understand what it is about because it is such a massive part of our life this feeling comes up more than one time in our life it's a part of growth it's a part of how we evolve how we live it's a part of us right how we expand and how we manifest also and one thing that i do want to read up is forgiveness is just about remembering the wholeness of your heart it didn't say that it actually does say soul but there you go <laughs> the wholeness of your heart it's the true awakening of your eternal soul and the releasing of any stories in your life that aren't directing you towards love. Yes. True. Before we tap more into this, I do want to talk about other things that I learned when it comes to this. Because I also feel that forgiveness is also us actually realizing our true nature. It is for us to learn how to use our mind together with our intuitive senses, to bring those energies together. And the mind and our intuition, our intuition is always linked together with our soul, right? Our soul is linked together with our heart, our mind is linked together with our ego, so it's Again, this energy of connecting the mind to the heart. That's basically what it's about. And I actually find it fun to bring forgiveness into this because it makes me and it makes you think about forgiveness in a new way. And it might even at the end of this video make us love the word forgiveness. And with us loving and accepting that word, it makes us move into a new step in life. And it makes us teach other people so it's also for you to actually take this and form it into a way how you can teach other people no matter if you are a youtuber as well or if you are working you know with people in your day-to-day -day life maybe helping family or friends to overcome situations because we all have tried to talk about forgiveness with someone and them totally shutting off and we have done that as well you know let's be honest here with realizing our true nature we are also seeing the perfection of life and with that we are seeing our own perfection which is a very important key <laughs> okay the radiator agrees because made it uh, it made a weird noise. So when we see the perfection of life, we see the perfection of ourselves. Then we see the potential that we have for our own creativity. How we can express creativity. And that obviously brings enlightenment. It brings happiness. I guess you can say that it is the divine law of forgiveness. We are going deep today, people. Grab your coffee. I have my coffee in a... Uh, very Christmassy mug of <laughs> hearts because I guess forgiveness can also be <laughs> connected with self-love two words that we sometimes are very afraid of Af afraid of <laughs> afraid of but why is that? 
Why? Is it because of shattered dreams? Probably. Most definitely. But divine forgiveness is a part of the law of attraction. It is a part of our growth. It's also for us to realize that we are eternal. We are divine because we are the universe, right? Otherwise, we couldn't manifest. We are connected with the universe. We are part of the universe. You have the universe inside of you. But it also means that being divine means that you can actually choose to be destructive in life and to ourselves. And that is why many of us return to this divine law of forgiveness over and over and over so that we can realize our true nature. I love talking with you guys about this and that's why I love Kyle Gray's book because it actually makes you tap in and realize and think deeper about situations and things, especially with the time that we are in right now, what we're going through. Because now just talking with you guys actually makes me realize a lot of things. Like it actually makes me in a way heal the word forgiveness and the word self-love because it makes me realize things that I probably still have to forgive but that I have been hanging on to and it makes sense that it comes again and again and again and again because it's divine law of forgiveness like it is the law of attraction right and I found something in the Shaka book that I want to read up to you guys that's again something that makes you think so listen up life shouldn't work if we make mistakes but it does because there really are no mistakes only mistakes that is actually a brain twister so life works because there is no mistakes there is no failures is this us going through a lot of attempts to get things right and that is a part of true understanding that is a part of divine forgiveness it is a part of who we are right we want to become what we have learned so that we can step into the next thing because not forgiven forgiving or if i should formula formulate it in another way thinking about all the mistakes makes us jump into this movie where we do things over and over and over and over again until we get it until we understand why it happened why us and how far we have come and the universe obviously you know are very accepting and giving when it comes to mistakes so why do we see forgiveness as a hard thing because we all do mistakes right and the conclusion we have come to <laughs> today is that mistakes are connected with failure um <laughs> that's that's not what I want to say. Well, it is connected with failure, but it's also connected with forgiveness because it is in that circle. It's a loop, right? Divine forgiveness is a loop of mistakes, failure, and getting things right. It's an eternal loop. And, on, and until that we jump out of the crowd and look at all the other people running around, we will understand why. Right? It's like the people who are running around in that circle have this like talking bubble, I don't know what you call it. <laughs> so you're like reading into the situation and you're understanding. Like, huh, yeah. I don't want to run around in that eternal circle. No, I want to see life as perfection so that I can see my own perfection. So that I can be creative, enlightened and happy. Right? I want to walk around in that circle. That seems like a way better circle to <laughs> step into. Yeah. Try to visualize the circle of the divine forgiveness and the circle of enlightenment. It's two different pictures you're going to see and feel. And maybe already now you have realized something in your life when it comes to the word forgiveness. Even though we don't see it, life loves us. The universe loves us. Again, whatever it is, God, whatever it is you believe in. And when we work and realize that, we do step into well-being and enlightenment of our pathway, being creative. Because I also feel that 
creative blocks, psychic blocks are linked together with the divine law of forgiveness. Because sometimes we are so fixated on an idea, especially if it comes from the past, because I also feel like forgiveness is linked together with the past. Well, of course it is linked together with the past. It's not like we're forgiving something in the future. It's always in the past, something that has happened. And our well-being is in the moment. In the moment is the moment. It's not the past, it's not the future. So again, <laughs> there's different energies here that we're tapping into. And if you are someone who does believe in the law of attraction, if you are someone who believes in the universe, whatever you believe in, you know that our true potential is unlimited. Whatever can happen in our life is unlimited. However, we are the ones who are limiting ourselves, probably because of past circles, right? Divine law of forgiveness, our definition of who we are. And what we do by choosing what we want to believe in and what we identify ourselves as. Again, we have talked a lot about this um, identity and authenticity. <laughs> identity and authenticity, yes. Yeah, the authentic us. The new us, because we are changing all the time. We are not supposed to be the same person. We are not supposed to love the same things. We are not supposed to have the this, this same people in our life. And I actually read an article that was very interesting for me. That in the moment I read it, it triggered me. But then I, it actually made me think. But us humans are actually not supposed to be together with... In relationships for that long. Because that we move on and we grow. And I also think that forgiveness, also in friendships, right? Forgiveness, well, f friendships are part of a support system, a soul tribe, but still people live our life. But I also feel that forgiveness has a lot to do, like the trauma that we experience in our life, the trauma that we have in our body, which is the worst trauma, the, the hardest trauma to overcome, which I also feel that this could help people who deal with this, is from people, relationships, right? So I do feel that divine law of forgiveness is way more important right now than anything else. And I also feel sometimes we walk around and we ask other people or we seek an understanding through other people of who we are, who we identify as, like who am I supposed to identify as? So we look out, we ask, but they don't know because they might not even know who they identify as. So the only one that you can ask is yourself. And <laughs> to come back to Carl Gray's book, let's ask the questions. What do I need to forgive? Question mark. Where in my life am I holding on to stuff that I don't need? Question mark. What's standing between me and feeling of freedom? Question mark. Is there anywhere in my life where I'm directing anger rather than focusing on what makes me feel loved? Question mark. I heard spirits say trauma. So yeah, that might be linked together with trauma. What are you directing your energy towards when it comes to <coughs> the divine law of forgiveness? There's a reason why the universe wants us to talk and dig into this like now, after, or actually still in this energy of the lunar eclipse, because it's still here. This is such a powerful lunar eclipse that you have felt it five days before the lunar eclipse, before yesterday, and you still have five, four, four or five days where you're still going to feel it. So it makes sense because all this, the law of forgiveness, is actually the crackling cake. <laughs> the camera stopped. The crackling cake, I don't know where I wanted to go with that, but it, well, it is the, the, <laughs> the eternal flame that you are just waiting to shoot out so that things can start, right? It is the circle that you're walking around in. It is the emotional blocks. It's the shutting off emotionally. It's the being sad or being lonely, being stuck mentally, and 
there is a lot of focus on mental health right now and i do feel that divine law of forgiveness is a big part of how to actually get out of that but you also need to ask for help and that is also the hardest to do right asking for help it is the hardest thing to do but with the questions from kyle gray's book i feel like we have a better understanding of the questions that we need to ask what we need to understand about ourselves who we want to identify ourselves as yeah and also what i want to say when it comes to you know because i know a lot of you guys are like well i have looked inside of myself and i don't know who i identify myself as i don't know how to forgive this thing how to move on how to get unstuck and i will say it doesn't help to look outside and sometimes it doesn't even help to look inside but living life is the best teacher jumping out of that carousel of that walking around right the, div the divine a law of forgiveness circle stepping out of that so that you actually can see what's going on living life not being stopped living life that is beautiful yes but that is the best way of figuring things out living life life is meant to be live lived <laughs> yes <laughs> it is all right spirit is there anything else <laughs> that you want us to talk about i did hear life is the teacher life is the truth which is very true life is a teacher life is the truth the purpose of life is to live and through living everything will be revealed november is going to be a badass month and it actually also makes sense with what we spoke about in the video i made where i spoke about the the three seasons like libra scorpio which we are in now and then Sagittarius. This is a moment in your life where things are coming together but it's also for you to step out of that circle and it might be a little circle and it might actually be a circle where you're just w walking around in that divine love forgiveness circle a half an hour <laughs> throughout your day the rest of the day you're actually fine but you find yourself jumping into that circle with bunch of other people and then you're being sucked into it right so maybe instead of staying half an hour in that circle you end up staying a whole day and then your mind plays tricks with you because then you start questioning yourself no you start questioning life then you start questioning yourself and then what is there right so i feel this is the perfect ending <laughs> to our talk about forgiveness Thank you guys for listening to me. <laughs> I don't know how long this video is going to be. But this was a joy because this made me realize a lot of things. And I hope it made you realize a lot of things. If you have any input you want to share, any experiences or thoughts or anything, let me know in the comments. And I will talk to you guys in the next episode. <laughs> Let's see what is the next thing. By the way, this is the book for anyone interested oh you know why we are talking about this because now he's stepping into manifest oh it makes sense people oh, creating space to allow that is the next thing and now we are actually at the chakra the stellar gateway deep deep space blue and purple you might see blue and purple a lot wow <laughs> Again, there is a reason for everything. When you allow and you see life as perfect, you see yourself as perfect. And then creativity and enlightenment happens and things make sense. Thank you. <laughs> I love you all. And I will see you guys in the next video.